What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Review Force Level Leveling. Uh, this is episode uh, 10, I think. Um, and uh, with me, as always, I have Liz Paid. Yeah. This episode was all right, in my opinion. I mean, not, not much really happened in terms of um, what's going to happen in the future episodes. Um, but, you know, I, w- I will say, like, uh, as I've been talking for the past couple of weeks, that about the you know, the whole Jeju Island arc that they're hyping up. It doesn't look like, based on how much material that they're going to be covering in the last two episodes, that they're really going to get there in time. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think they would, considering how many episodes we had left. Yeah. And, then, and of course, the, the number of times they've, they've you know, they con- uh, consistently um, men- mentioned the whole uh, Jeju Island incident over and over again, and they're potentially planning on you know going there it just it just it's just um like i said there's just not enough material for them to cover cover it unless um they, they're they might end up announcing a second season or a second core if if they are planning on it yeah i feel like that's probably gonna happen yeah so uh the, the episode picks up after the last one in which um uh Ju- Juhi, uh, uh tell well pretty much like a um reminiscence about all the times that she she ended up helping sung uh during that time when he was back back then when he was in e e rank still and the amount of times that you know she had to heal him uh due to all of his injuries that he sustained uh, uh during that time but now that you know she's uh she's witnessed like him getting uh, gotten stronger over there you know since uh, that incident in the double dungeon that she doesn't feel the need to look after him anymore so and then of course um, she decides to finally retire from uh, from hunting as well. I I was kind of surprised with how this played out that that uh, uh, that Sung doesn't try to like talk her down from it or or something and she just decides to retire and walks off. Um, so I mean I I guess I I don't know I guess that like you said she didn't see like maybe she saw a purpose and just like protecting him and now that she doesn't have that anymore she doesn't really see a point in maybe continuing to be a hunter yeah i mean uh, of course there, there are some i mean there's some like financial benefits of being a hunter but you know with i mean understandably because of you know her uh her trauma during the double dungeon incident and of um her personal issues uh relating to her family it, it made sense as to why she uh, she ends up retiring yeah uh, so, yeah, I just figured her character arc would kind of go somewhere else, like where she would kind of like maybe sort of persevere and decide to be a hunter regardless of that, instead of just maybe like you know, I guess metaphorically throwing in the towel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I don't know. I'm wondering what they're gonna do with her character now that she's not going to be a hunter anymore. Uh, I, I mean, it's it's hard to say. I mean, uh, you know, in in the manhwa, we don't really get to see see her uh at all uh, as much other than like you know c- certain times uh, in the anime where they put in anime original scenes in which uh they show off some of the characters we the characters we barely seen um but yeah for for this episode uh, most of this episode is just um uh jean ho and sung uh pretty much participating uh, uh in raids in multiple like uh, dungeon raids by themselves along with uh, i think um I think six or eight other people that they brought along with them, but but, but you know, but like a um, but what like uh, Sung mentioned that it's o- only he and um, Jin Ho are the ones that are going to be participating in, uh, participating in the raids, and not <laughs> not the people that you know that they uh, you know that they brought in for you know for their guild. So ba- basically, like you know, it's you know while while Jin Ho and Sung are taking part in the raids themselves. All the other like hunters are just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for them to you know finish up each dungeon. Yeah, I mean, I was, I, I, I was kind of wondering what the point of that was. Like, they're not gonna take them in with them; they're just gonna have them sit out, uh, sit outside uh, of the dungeon and and just pretty much just, I, I guess, just watch the uh, <laughs> watch the dungeon instance or something. Yeah, I uh, mean, they're, they're just. Mo- I mean, they're pretty much just getting paid to sit around. Yeah, and, and of course, uh, like a, one particular hunter that shows up. Uh, ends up being um, what was it? Uh, Sung's sister's uh, classmate, who, who ha- yeah. I guess, I guess in a way that she ends up dropping out of school, uh, of sorts, just so she can become a, a hunter. But of course, like you know, she mentions that she's never participated in 
uh, arrayed, arrayed herself. So, and of course, like she's she's getting it easy by just like literally just doing nothing with all the other hunters. But what, well, I'm also surprised that she doesn't like, you know, that she never brings up any fact that you know that she wants to participate in any of these raids herself. Yeah, I mean, I I wonder if they're planning on even taking any of these people into the dungeon with them because they, I mean, they're not going to know what to do. They're all just going to be inexperienced. And I mean, they, they mentioned like a lot of them are just like, I guess, I guess C and D rank hunters. Yeah. Um, and then of course, uh, uh, Sung's sister's friend is, I, as far as we know, she doesn't have any experience either. So, I mean, I, I kind of wonder what they're going to do with her and these other characters, uh, I mean, it seems like that maybe her character might become somewhat important, I guess. But I'm wondering what they're going to do with her, considering she's just not an inexperienced hunter. And, uh, she doesn't really, like, I mean, she she's just kind of watching the portal with everybody else. Uh, the only thing she really does in this episode is that she confronts the um, uh, that one guy who's, I guess, trying to... Uh, is is uh, trying to hire Sung or, or, or is interested in, in Sung after i guess hearing about his exploits or uh how like everything he's done in the dungeon yeah so it's he he look he looks it up after like he notices uh jin ho and um jin ho and sung have been taking part of all these raids on numerous occasions by themselves and he he pretty much puts uh puts together the pieces uh of all the other instances in which sung um ends up surviving three three different incidents like one one of course the double dungeon incident the second one was like uh the um, what was it the dungeon in which sung ended up killing all the other hunters that tried to kill him and of course the third one in which um uh sung ended up killing kong uh so um yeah. ev- eventually like he he ends up setting up a meeting with uh with sung and sung of course uh asks like how he even knows about like um you know about what he's doing and how powerful he's become and you know, of course, so, you know, like like I said, he he reiterates, uh, uh, what was it? The management director of the of uh, I think they call it the White Tigers Guild mentions that you know he he's been looking in uh, looking into it, and he had someone like uh, snoop on him on numerous occasions during these raids. So Song, of course, um, yeah. you know, he decides to th- to threaten him. <laughs> Basically, like he just slashes uh, you know his his cheek and then just uh, activates his stealth mode. And tell, tells him like you know, not not to do anything else unless he he agrees to do something, which uh, he asks like, um, or he actually he actually scams the White Tiger Guild uh, manager to I get he's I think he um, what was it? Uh, he he basically like uh, offers to I, I think like sell them back all these. Uh, all all the dungeon instances that they're they've I get that they've taken over because apparently they'd been taking they've been uh, basically I guess taking all the the C uh, I think it was like the C and D rank dungeons from all all the other hunters for themselves mm-hmm. um, and uh, I, I guess he's like trying he he tried to negotiate to sell them back at like this. I, I mean, probably at like this. Uh, well, at least more oh, than okay. so, the the uh, well, yeah, more than the guy from the White Tiger Guild thinks that they're worth. Uh, so, which I think it's it's yeah. a combination of three different raids, and he's he mentions he wants to sell them back by six hundred million one, which in the U.S. dollars that's that's almost half a million. That's which, which is. Which is I mean, considering that there are such low-level dungeons, I mean, I wouldn't assume that they're worth that much either. No. Um, so, but and, I mean, he he ends up like trying to like negotiate him down uh, to a, a, like not really even that much of a lower price, like a somewhat lower price. Um, but he and and of course, like Sung immediately kind of accepts it. Um, it I don't know. It just seemed like it, it. It was weird. Like I guess it's just to show that. You know, Sung's he's sort of like newfound confidence that he can negotiate so well. I, I guess. I, I mean, he just manages. I mean, it was, to like it was more, kind of rip him off. I mean, it was more of a threat too because he. But yeah. he, it almost seemed like he was planning on killing the guy if had he not agreed to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind, of, I don't know if he would have, but yeah, I mean, he kind of made it seem like he, he would do something. Um, but yeah, of course, but yeah, the guy agrees to it. 
Um, and of course, he ends up finding out later that uh, I guess like that the the dungeons that he had um, that he had bought from him didn't like I, like didn't really like net him a lot of money or something. No, I mean he um, he, he he actually gave. So, so, Sung and you know his friend just like oh, fuck, fuck it was like six six hundred million six hundred million one uh of, mm-hmm. with if, for the for as, for those three level level dungeons by themselves so it's a, yeah so yeah so like he yeah he yeah yeah he he realizes at that point that he got scammed but you know he he still feels like that he can recruit um Sung into his guild. Uh, one day, I don't know if it's uh, still possible, but may- maybe you know this character might come back uh, in a later episode. Yeah, but uh, any, but yeah, like, yeah, but uh, the other thing uh, that also happens is that Sung uh, recently also not only he uh, recently received like a what was it a stealth ability, but he also received like a, what was it a job change ability as well or job change quest or something. So by the end of the episode, he's he's driving off somewhere to to take on this quest um whatever that is and that's pretty much where the episode ends off yeah um yeah i mean it was a lot of the episode was just a compilation of uh of sung and these other hunters just going to these different dungeons and sung like is leveling up multiple times um so i guess just to show that he's now like probably a higher level and he's i I think he mentioned at one point he is now between like a, a, a an a and b rank hunter I, um I, well in the manhua it, it seems like he's around the level of either a b rank or an a rank at this point and yeah. also another uh another reason is like uh, uh he he gets wind of like uh what was it the brother of like uh, one of the hunters he's killed in uh, one of the previous episodes is is, uh, is aiming to kill him uh sometime later and of course this encourages uh song Sung to level up even further to get himself even stronger to potentially face face off against this guy. Yeah, I'm guessing this is something that might happen during the Jeju Island arc, um, mm. since it hasn't really nothing's really happened with it yet. Yeah, I um, mean it's I mean so far like yeah it's just yeah a lot a lot of the, you know the character uh, development has mostly gone in Sung uh, the entire the entire time of you know this core. And you know, like I said, it's like we have yet to see any of the other characters, like Chahain or any any other S rank characters. I mean, we we only get like one instance of like a, one of the S rank hunters get having a nightmare. Uh, of w- yeah. Whatever happened over at, uh, over at the Jeju Island, uh, but yeah, like I, like I said, it seems like there's they're, they're still trying to you know pot- potentially hype up this you know this upcoming arc. Uh, but it's like I said, it's not going to happen within the next two episodes because it's because uh, there, there's the Jeju Island arc is, you know, is a much longer arc compared to the other ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I, I thought it was a, a decent episode. It's mostly just, I guess, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't bad. I mean, I am kind of interested in where things are going to go and uh, how like Sung's sister's friend is for in particular is going to play into things. Um, but yeah, it does seem like they're saving a lot of like bigger moments for the, uh, I guess for the Jeju Island arc. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like I said before, that this season's probably going to end just teasing that arc. Um, I don't know, you know, probably for another potential core, another season, because I, I think with the popularity of this season, there most likely is going to be another season in the future. Um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't really have too much else to say about the episode, though. I don't know if you have anything else to say about. Yeah, it. I mean, I still feel like it's a bit of a mistake for them to not announce like, like twelve additional uh, additional episodes or an extra core after this, because they they did say mm-hmm. officially uh, that this was going to be twelve episodes, but with the amount of material they're covering, that's I mean they they've yet to scratch the surface with you know with, with the rest of the show. I mean, sure, it's got it's gotten better. And ha- it has its moments, but I feel like you know they, it's it's yet to hit hit its like like its peak moments still. And of, of course, yeah, I, I feel I mean, I, there's, yeah, I, there's been some pretty good moments in the show, but yeah, I I do think that it's like you know it seems like the story is building to something that's probably you know some most of the big things are probably going to happen during the Jeju Island arcs. So, yeah, 
Um, yeah, it, and then yeah, of course we haven't gotten to that yet. Yeah, and of course, like you know, my other criticism is just the overall lack of screen time of the other characters, particularly like the you know the S S rank characters. Um, and yeah. of course, like the anime did kind of a little bit one. So you're cutting out. Uh, okay, well, so yeah, the, my main criticism of is of course still the the lack of like, screen time of the other other characters like the S rank characters and, and you know some of the friends that um Sung has interacted with um over the last several episodes but uh I mean they did kind of they did kind of rectify this a little bit with that one anime original episode um I kind of showing off these characters but I feel like you know they you know they they I I really felt like you know uh yeah i i don't know i mean i don't it doesn't really the show doesn't really suffer as much without them but i really feel like they should have gotten more screen time but that's that's mostly because that they they didn't uh that there what there wasn't much like you know material for those characters uh you know in the model at the time yeah um yeah i mean I, i do like at least that the anime is trying to to do some anime original scenes with those characters just to give us some more screen time with them, especially considering how much some of them have been built up like Shaheen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming of course, like I said before that a lot of them are probably going to, are going to show up during the Jeju Island arc, which isn't going to happen this season. Um, uh, most likely at least. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so, uh, but I mean, yeah, so I mean, we only have like two more episodes left, so it's going to be interesting to see how things end with this season. Um, But yeah, so that all being said, guys, uh, until next time, we will see you all later.